Hello, friend. I got very emotional today. I'm Mormo, but I got very emotional today and uh, decided to skip school. But I'm still going to make a video and I'm still going to, what I'm going to do is review Curse of the Black Shuck. And uh, I meant to look this up on my phone. I know I'm friends with the filmmaker of this movie. And for some crazy reason, Divide and Conquer isn't on Troma now anymore. Or not in the new. Not in the new, uh. New releases. I don't know if this is. Oh, volume two. Cool, I can watch volume two now. Right on. Of Return to Newcomb High. I'll review that soon. But, uh. I want tonight. I want to review a different movie. And my friend, I wanted to look up how you pronounce her name. I think it's Rahel Kapinski. I think that's how you say it. I wanted to look up the pronunciation, but I forgot. And uh, but this movie is nine minutes and 37 seconds long. It's called The Curse of the Black Shuck, a stop motion animation film based on the legend of the Black Shuck. And I'm really looking forward to watching this. So stick around and, uh, and uh, we'll see what. Okay, friend, I just watched The Curse of the Black Shuck on Troma now. And I thought it was awesome. I loved it. I think it's a great work of art. And um, the whole time I was thinking about how I'd like to hire. I wish I would have looked up the pronunciation of her name, Rahel. I'll just say. But uh, I've been friends with them for a while since Spider Leans came out. But uh, the family and the family all worked on the film. And uh, it was really great. Like I was thinking, how could I hire this woman to like make animations for one of my movies? And hopefully somewhere down the road, I'll uh, make movies that make money and... I can get a return on investment and everything and then I can start paying actual like real money to hire people but uh, cuz I could totally see this style of video film <coughs> this this style of claymation art to like be used in a feature film kind of like how Candyman had the shadow puppets and uh, I think it would be rad to see a horror movie where all of the creature effects and all of the gore are this style of animation and uh, mix it with live video and like of actual actors and then and then you represent them in clay for the creature effects and the kills and stuff I think that would be really artistic and really cool and uh, that's what I really love about this short is that um, like it's just so artistic and um, I've never seen anything j just like it and uh, it had this black wolf kind of looking thing with the big eye in the middle of its head and the eye uh, would look around and the other eyes would look around and uh, it goes around like killing people back in history it's like set in the 1500s I think and uh, 
I really enjoyed it. I'd like to see a lot more of it. If I, if like I said, if I was making money, making movies, I'd totally try and hire right away to like make art for my movie to, cause I think this, this level and quality of art would really help any feature film. Uh, prob especially horror, but I think any genre it would work. And, uh, like I say, it was just very original and, um, well done. The clay sculptures were really well done. And, uh, the motion and everything looked good. It was just really well done, like a piece of quality art. And, uh, definitely check it out. I'm still confused why Divide and Conquer isn't on Troma now anymore. And I'm, like, worried that my re my review last night might have somehow affected it being on Troma now. I don't know. Kind of freaking out about that. Maybe you could only watch it once per month. I don't know. But somehow it got taken down from Troma now but anyways definitely check out the curse of the black shuck if you have any money uh and you're a filmmaker i would definitely try try and hire rahel and um thanks so much for watching please comment please subscribe please ring the bell please um share because sharing is caring and uh thanks so much and definitely get troma now it's only five bucks a month and i'm pretty much guaranteed to get my money's worth i have never been disappointed i've subscribed to it for quite a few months and it's always been worth it in my book i, I see like at least one or two A plus movies that are worth the five bucks. And it's just cool to see Troma on my bank statement, you know, Troma. And uh, I really like subscribing to Troma now. Your first month is free. So uh, it's worth it just to check it out and like, there's a bunch of classics on here. There's old Hollywood classics. I'll have to do a review of the whole channel, but um, it's really worth it. And thanks so much for watching. Thanks. And everybody, here's He-Man. I hope you can see him. He got up in my lap and uh, just wanted to show him off everybody this is he man he is a good cat